welcome to Talent Sprint. I am Rohit and here is your daily dose of aptitude skills. In this session, we are going to look at something really very interesting and that is multiplication of numbers. Well, you might be wondering what is so interesting in multiplying two numbers. Well, what is unusual here is that we will multiply two numbers without actually writing those numbers on paper and that is what makes it a really very interesting multiplication technique. So, let us take a simple example to understand this. Let us say we have to multiply uh, 12 with 30, right? 12 into 30. Now, I am sure all of you can uh, mark the answer for this question without even having to write anything on paper, right? You can just do one mental calculation and get the answer. 12 into 13 will be 120 plus 36, which is 156, right? So, it does not really take any time for us to get the answer for such simple multiplication. But let us do the same thing in a very interesting way by drawing lines on paper. Let us see how it works. Now, look at the first number 12. Now, all we need to do here is the first, uh, the tenth place here is 1. So, draw one line and the unit space is 2. So, draw two lines, right? Maintain a distance between the tenth place and the unit space. So, this set of lines here represent the number 12, 1 and 2. Now, we need to intersect this set of lines with 13. How do we represent 13? One single line and then three lines. So, let us say 13, this is 1 and 1, 2, 3, 13 are able to follow. So, 1 and 2 lines represent 12 and 1 and 3 lines here represent 13. Now, with the help of the various points that we see, points of intersection that we see here, we can arrive at the answer. See what do we need to do? Look at this part of intersection. We have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, 6 points of intersection implies the result will have 6 as its unit space. Then what do we do? Look at the second part of it. Right, the number of points of intersection, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, 5 comes in the tenth place. And look at the last part here, only one point of intersection. So, that 1 becomes the hundredth place, and the answer here is 156. That is what we had got, right? 156. So, 12 into 13 is equal to 156. So, this is how you can multiply numbers in this uh, interesting method without actually having to write numbers on paper. However, I do not suggest you to follow this technique in the exam as you anyway end up wasting a lot of time, but what is interesting here is the technique. So, let us now multiply 14 with 23, right? 14 into 23. Now, what is 14 into 23? I am sure you can multiply these two numbers in your head without having to put anything on paper. 14 into 23 would be 280 plus 42, that is 322, right? So, 322 is the answer, but then we will find out the answer without uh, the conventional or the smart method that we know, right? We will use this interesting multiplication technique. So, let us put the number 14 here. How do we do that? This is 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that is the number 14. Now, let us put the number 23 intersecting with this set of lines. So, here we have got 2 and then 3. 2, 3 becomes 23. Now, how do we get the answer? With the help of points of intersection. So, this gives us the units place, then the next two sets gives us the tens place and finally, we have the hundreds place. So, count the points of intersection here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. 12 points of intersection. But can we take 12 in the unit place? No. What do we do? Take 2 as the answer and 1 gets carried forward like what we generally do in uh, any form of multiplication, right? So, 1 gets carried forward to the next place and 2 comes in the result. Now, count the points of intersection here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 points of intersection and 1 has been carried forward. So, 11 plus 1, 12 again, but we cannot take 12 in the tens place. Take 2 as the result and 1 gets carried forward to the next place. And finally, count the number of points of intersection for the hundreds place. So, 1 and 2, but we have 1 carried forward. So, 2 plus 1 gives you 3, 322 and that is what we had got in the earlier case. So, this is how you can multiply numbers using this very interesting multiplication technique. However, I suggest you not to follow this in your exam. As you know, we end up wasting a lot of time uh, by drawing all these lines and counting the points of intersection. But then it is really interesting to multiply numbers this way. So, try out with your own examples and see if you get the right answers. Thank you for watching this video. We shall come up with more such interesting techniques on uh, doing various calculations and solving different types of questions from aptitude. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next session.